говорит в клагере. Uh, take out three. Так, так, так. Еще раз. Вот, все. I spent several weeks traveling around Ukraine looking for Mofar Ukrainian shamans without much luck. But when I finally got out into the real edge of the Karpovan mountains in this Hutso village called Vokolina, I just found Mofar all over the place. And I think this is one of the last real bastions where that tradition of Ukrainian magic, of Mofar magic, stays alive. The first Mofar that I met in Verkhovina was more of a tarot card reader than anything. Uh, just like going into any kind of fortune teller's house. I went in, gave her a few demographics, and she flipped some cards over, had me say, take some cards from the deck, and with that tried to tell my future, you know, said things about I might get married next year, or uh, when's the, my next romantic relationship going to happen. She talked about this tradition being passed to her from her sister-in-law when her sister-in-law died. And that brings up something that is huge about these Mofar traditions, that these Methods of magic aren't necessarily just passed down to chosen people and chosen shamans or mofars, but every family and every bloodline has its own little techniques that it performs. One sister. When we were going in to meet this mofar, one of the women from the village was passing by and turned to us and told us that she's a liar. So, we didn't have a lot of faith going in. Something peculiar about this whole experience was that it was very clear this woman's profession and entire life were not surrounded around being a Mofar. But instead it was a small service she would provide, something she would do in the off hours. And that's something that I found was a large part of this village. Everyone had a particular tradition, a particular practice that they would give. Someone you go to for when you're getting a stomach ache, someone you go to when you get insomnia. We all have something to give, whether it's big or small to the other people around us. And is it a matter of just deciding what's more valuable, what's less valuable? We're trying to see what's special about each person, what's special about each group, and what they can give to each of us in a different way, whether that's, you know, the big questions like how do I avoid death or who should I marry, to the small questions like, you know, is my girl, next girlfriend going to be pretty or not? Everyone has something to contribute and that's something that pervades throughout this entire village and I hope that that's something that can be a little more present in our world where we can see the worth and value of everyone in ways that help us big and small. Ну, я не кизу тут, начути, ще прочую смерть. Кори зиму падає, батьки дуже добрі в нього.